Did you see like a, like a, a switch in his mindset to go from wanting to do tricks and out wide and maybe not being as effective to being this ruthless goal machine? I'm saying some kids at that age would have gone under. Gone under. Gone under. He, he never complied with the defensive structure of the team, so actually you were tolerating him from a defensive point of view and in an attacking point of view he was erratic. He is willing to take risks and he has become a leader and like you say that transformation, his, his character is completely different as well, not just his performance. So he went from being somebody who was frustrated to someone who's absolutely exceptional. But he's got pride and he's got, uh, like I go back to all the time, an obsessiveness of being the best. And listen, he came as a kid, left him the best player in the world. So you guys know I love to do extracurricular activities in sports like that. And today I just thought I'd have a little fun on the dirt bike, on the dirt track. Like I said, I like to do different things when I get the chance to do them. When I got a little free time, a little off time, I like to have fun. I don't like to do the same old boring things. I've always wanted a dirt bike and I was finally able to get one. We've had a magnificent start to the season and I only wish to continue. For now, we do have a little bit of time off for it. It's the international break. I wanted to get a little fun in before I had to go off. So welcome everybody back. This is episode two of the James Wayne Career Mode. And if you are new around here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and hit that bell notification so you'll always be up to date. But like I said, this is episode two and first off we're going to have the international break here we had our first three games for real madrid but now we're going to play our first international game for the dutch national team i wanted to make a few quick changes i wanted to change james wayne's boots just something to match the netherlands colors i know they're orange but i, I wanted to go something a little bit you know in the same field of color so i'm going with red and here are the starting lineups for our first game against the Greece national team. As you see, I am playing the left wing, which normally I play on the right side as we go into our first international game. So here we go. We are leading out the national team. We are the captain here. And they have our match objectives to get a 7.0 match rating, have a 35% dribble success rate, and a 55% team possession rate. To me, it seems like the goals are a little bit easier. Maybe it's because it, it's an international friendly. Usually, they want me to get 8.5 match ratings and higher stuff. But I think we can make do with these since this is an international game. And it is our first one. But here we go. Starting the game off in the 30th minute. Taking one of our first touches of the game. Getting a shot. Trying to get a shot off here. And as you see, we fall awkwardly. And honestly, it was more than just a fall. I landed on my shoulder the wrong way as you see James Wayne grabbing his shoulder he's in a little bit of pain and we're gonna advance forward to halftime because nothing really happened in the first half and after halftime like I said we did hurt our shoulder to begin with and we do come out in the 50th minute trying to make something happen and we're getting tackled and this is even worse trying to make a skill move happen the defender crashes into us. It was a clean tackle, but an aggressive tackle, and it left us hurt. You could tell this is not just a minor injury, the way that James Wayne is on the ground. You've seen this before. It's happened plenty of times. 
We do get up, but we get up slowly. And I could tell the difference in just trying to do skill moves, trying to go up the pitch, and I just felt slower. I felt heavier. I felt like there was a nagging injury. In the 75th minute, I just realized I just cannot go anymore. Like, they're playing through balls to me, and I just can't not reach them. Last chance in the 80th minute, I'm trying to make something happen because even when you're injured as a Wayne, you have to make something happen. We cannot get anything to happen. We do request a sub off. We finish the game with a 6.6 .6 rating. And like I said, I request a sub off just because I just did not want to get any more hurt than I already was. So after simulating the rest of the match, we did get a 2-0 victory against Greece, but we have to check with the doctor to see what actually happened with us in this injury. We get the results back from the doctor and he says we just have a sprained knee, but this sprained knee is going to keep us out for an entire month. And you guys know how I feel about injuries. I hate being injured. I've been injured so many times in my career that it saddens me. But we're going to try to cheer ourselves up here. We're going to make it through. We're telling ourselves it's going to be okay. And we'll get through it. So now that I got some time to sit and think, it just makes me realize that we can't keep having this happen. This isn't the first time I've been hurt. I was hurt for Manchester. I was also hurt for the national team for the US. And I'm thinking I need to value my body more. Maybe slow down on a little bit of the skills. Something's gotta change. After a month has passed, we have just been rehabbing and relaxing. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling good. The knee's feeling better. You know, and I also got the call from the doctor they cleared me to play. So here we are, we're getting up. We gotta get ready to get back to the team. And looking back at the schedule now, we have our next game against Athletic Bilbao. But first, because I've been gone for about a month, I wanna check out the stats of the league. And it looks like Benzema is leading the league with six goals in eight matches. Maybe we, we could have been up there, but because of the injury, we've been out. But here we go. In our first game back, we come in as a sub, it looks like, for Arsencio. Here in the 60th minute, we are up 2-1. to one. Benjamin with a goal and Tony Cruz with a goal. This is the first time I'm coming in as a sub. And I'm looking to make an impact here. As you see, our match objective is just to get a 6.5 match rating. Get at least one goal or assist and get a pass success rate of 50%. Now, I don't know if I can get that goal or assist, but I'm definitely going to try. We do have the lead here, so I don't know if it's that important, but I'm going to try to get the match rating at least. Here we go with a chance coming up the field, calling for the ball. Let's see if we can make something happen. Doing some skill moves here. As you see, we're trying to regain our footing, our style, our skill. But we will have another opportunity as one comes in now as we're getting past the defender and the goalkeeper comes up to make a save. We almost had a goal right there. So here we go, 85th minute, trying to make something happen. Trying to play on the on the shoulder of the last defender as they're crossing it in. And we're taking a shot here. And it goes across the face of the goal. Touching nothing, hitting nothing. And here we go with our chance. A minute later, trying to make something happen. Look at the skill moves from James Wayne as he comes down the middle of the pitch. And as you see, we're getting fouled. It led to nothing. And the game finished 2-1 to one just as we came in. We did make an impact, but it was more so just a, the presence of getting your feet wet back again. We have been gone for a month. The good thing is we completed two of our objectives. So we are back into the starting lineup. We got the match rating and we, we completed our pass success rate goal. Next, we're going into the Champions League here. This is our first Champions League game with Real Madrid as we we're playing Rosenberg. One of the things with our Champions League game is it is two days away from our 
El Clasico game against Barcelona, and I gotta find a way to try to make both of these games. But here we go, our first game against Rosenborg, BK, and our first game. It is an away game there as we are playing on the right wing. We are the captain again, and we're gonna get into the match. For our first Champions League game with Real Madrid and James Wayne, the match objectives today are for us to get an 8.5 rating, get one assist, and get a 70% conversion rate. Once again, the objectives are back to what they should be because we are the captain. We have high expectations as a captain. Now let's see if we can make it happen. Here we go in the 10th minute. Will we have an opportunity here playing it into me, taking a shot? The shot gets deflected. We do retain possession. Calling back for it, trying to take another shot, and the defense of Rosenborg it's just too much for us to handle. 21st minute, doing some skill moves here. James Wayne getting free, taking a shot, and it goes wide left. So many opportunities here, and we got to capitalize on that one. James Wayne just not able to get this one. As you see the frustration, this is a big game for him. His first Champions League appearance with Real Madrid. Here we go with another opportunity, playing a ball in. To Marco Asensio, but I think he was just offside. A little bit hard to see from this camera angle that we play in, but yes, he was offside. We got to play that ball in a lot quicker if we want that to happen. So we do go into halftime with it tied nil nil. We got to make something happen in the second half. Let's see what we can make happen. 47th minute, here we go with an opportunity coming down the field on the attack, and James Wayne just heads it a little bit too far to the right. 50th minute, let's see what we can make something happen here. Great team play by Real Madrid. James Wayne playing it to Benzema. Benzema playing it into the middle, and we hit the post. Another opportunity there, squandered by Real Madrid as we do lose possession. 60th minute. James Wayne coming on the attack on the side, doing some skill moves, trying to play a ball in there. Another shot by Marco Asensio, hits the post again. That's the third shot that's hit the post. Benzema has it, and he gives it away. 78th minute, we got a free kick from Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz takes a free kick. Goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. We cannot buy a goal. 82nd minute, James Wayne back on the counterattack. Can we make something happen? We are running out of stamina trying to get this ball. Nobody to play it into. The defense gets a great block, and we just cannot capitalize. The entire game, we haven't been able to capitalize until just about now. James Wayne with the go-ahead goal in the last five minutes of the game. He is the captain for a reason. You count on him to make the goals happen when you need them. That's the reason why he gets paid the big money right there for big moments just like that as we do get the 1-0 victory in our first Champions League game thanks to a last-minute winner by the Phenom. As you see, we completed only one of our objectives, but we got the win, and that's all that matters in a Champions League game. And here we go with our first El Clasico game ever. It is an away game. We are playing at Barcelona. We are the captain still. We still got some energy left. Also, we are playing against our Netherlands teammate in Memphis Depay. Let's see if we can get the victory against him and his squad. Coming off a great game in our Champions League debut, we're looking to continue that form here at El Clasico against Barcelona. Remember, this is our first El Clasico game. I'm not going to lie, this game's been pretty boring to say for the most part. So we're going to advance to close to halftime where we do get a little bit of action here. As you see me doing some skill moves here. Trying to create space, but the defense has been too much. Just like majority majority of the game. Here we go, after halftime, we finally get a nice, decent attack. And as you see, what a... Uh, 
as you see our opportunities are just being wasted here 70th minute we get the greatest chance of the game here as you see me coming down the left side of the wing playing a cross in and a header goalkeeper makes a fantastic save and that was our only major major opportunity to get a goal and it was squanders but here we go playing the ball into the middle playing it back to me can we get the goal and no we kicked it right at the goalkeeper a little bit to the left and we would have had the winning goal of the game but instead we finish nil nil a very boring El Clasico game to say the least but it, it was so much defense in this game it was crazy great defense from us great defense from them but that makes a boring El Clasico we did get the man of the match though which is weird because we did not complete any any of our objectives and we've also been demoted to the subs which we will get that back up through training and that does it for this episode guys i appreciate you guys for watching stay tuned for episode three of james wayne's career mode if you are new to the channel go ahead leave a like subscribe and peace